Hey guys, I hope you're all well. So I realised I go to Walt Disney World in a matter of weeks. The whole trip has kind of totally snuck up on me and I realised I actually still haven't filmed my Disneyland Paris haul from when I went last year. So I figured before I go to Walt Disney World, I'm planning to vlog. I really fell out of love with vlogging last year. So I didn't vlog our Paris trip. I didn't vlog New York last year either. Like I really didn't vlog at all. I fell totally out of love with it. Um, but I really feel like I'm back into it. So I want to vlog uh, when I go to Walt Disney World next month and obviously I will buy things. So there will be a haul video and things. So I thought I'd better get myself into shape and get caught up into my haul from Disneyland Paris last year. On a side note, my cat is lying in my bed. She is like purring away, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. She was totally quiet until I started filming. First thing that I will show you, strange, unimaginable thing happened when I went. I already owned all the Stitch plush that they had available, so I had to buy a different plush and I went for Lady, who is just one of my favourite characters. Um, this plush is just super soft, super super cute. It's got the big bow in the back, um, so it's like a little puppy lady. I absolutely love her, so my little ginger, ginger friend. It was the 25th anniversary when we were there last year, so you won't still be able to get this, but I did get this sweater, the 25th anniversary sweater. I did go last year and I have been wearing this a lot, so the tags are well off. I think it was about the 40 euro mark. Obviously, you probably can't get it anymore anyway, so. Moving on, I get a piece of jewellery every single time I go on a Disney trip and this one is no exception from the Arribus Brothers. I got this little crown ring. I'll do a close up of it because you're obviously not really going to be able to see it properly. And this was 29.99 euros and I think it's super pretty so it's just gold. It's got the little Mickey head in it but you'd have to be so close up to be able to actually see it. So it's really subtle and I love a crown motif anyway, so very up my street. Another piece of 25th anniversary merchandise. This was more of a necessity in that my purse broke while I was there. So I got this, which is the 25th anniversary wallet. Um, and then I had really bad luck because the zip in this broke clearly just was not a good trip for me for wallets. I really like the look of it. I love this kind of steampunk design they had for the 25th anniversary, so. Yeah, I bought the purse. And then I also got, this is Marie and it's one of the Disney Showcase, the Disney Traditions minifigures. This was €14.99. Euros it's just so cute. Look at her little face. She is super, super sweet. Um, so yeah, I just couldn't resist her and I thought €14.99, you know, it's not super expensive. And yeah, I thought she was very pretty. Well, I bought this. So I wore this in place of my usual ears. Obviously not going to be able to use it in Florida, but good to have because I do like going to Disneyland Paris, particularly at like Christmas time and things. So yeah, I will keep a hold of this and I will get, definitely get use out of it in future trips. Again, no price, but I feel like this was $24.99. And I got this t-shirt. This was $25.99. It says Disneyland Paris and then it's got the Space Mountain, Disneyland Park 1992, Mickey Mouse, um, the Walt Disney Studios and the Tower of Terror emblems. If you guys watched my last Disneyland Paris haul, I actually got the jumper version of this, but I didn't think it was very flattering, so I actually gave it to Scott. And then this trip, I picked up the t-shirt. I really, really love it, and I love... I just like the saying, I like the quote, I like the way the emblems are like laid out, so... Yeah, I'm going to see if I can maybe get a Walt Disney World kind of equivalent when I'm there. Next up, I will do the other t-shirt that I got, and this was 19.99. So this says, discover the stars, and this was the 25th anniversary. Absolutely love Donald, obviously, so had to get this t-shirt. Now, I have to get a notebook on every trip, obviously. This trip, I bought this one, which is Elsa. It's like kind of not quite lenticular, because, well, it is slightly lenticular. If you guys can see, like, the stars kind of move in and out, but, like, she doesn't really change. Um, and in the back it says Disneyland and this was $7.99 and lined in the inside with snowflake design and to go with it I got this pen so this was $11.99 I'll do a close up because you'll be able to see it better but it's got glitter in the top half and then it's got Disneyland Paris and a kind of artist portrait of Elsa at the bottom half and now on to the thing I probably spent most money on is my pin habit which is out of control. I actually still haven't filmed my pin haul from when I went to Florida the last time so I will be filming that before I go this time but if you guys remember, I think the first time I went, or maybe the second time, I got the folder for keeping my pins in, and um, my pin collection has 
outgrown the folders so I got this I actually wanted this when we went to Walt Disney World the last time but I just couldn't seem to get it anywhere so this was €39.99 Euros, and it's the Disney pin trading um, like bag basically that comes with these and you can stick all your pins into them um, so yeah I got lots of pins let's go through them the first two pins that I got um, one of them was for this trip and it is the Hotel New York key pin um, so this is blue I can't remember what blue would be price wise and then I also picked up the Santa Fe key pin because that's where we stayed the last time that we went so I got my two hotel pins I'm sure we bought the Santa Fe one the last time we went but we just seem to have completely lost it I actually traded because I'd bought pins when I was in Walt Disney World so I did some trading so I traded and got this stitch pin because obviously stitch pins are a thing and continuing with stitch pins I bought this set which again was blue and this is Stitch and Angel eating from a coconut or drinking from a coconut I got this little one which is Stitch plucking his little guitar which is just super cute this was a green one again another green one was this little one of Stitch just sitting down which I just thought was super super cute when we were there it was actually the pin trading night so we went along to that and we bought this pin which is from Coco and it is the Dante pin. They did have three but to be honest like I just wanted one pin to kind of be like oh like remember the time we went to Disneyland Paris and we were actually there on like the pin trading night so yeah. I just got one to commemorate that. This was $14.99. Obviously I am a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. Belle is pretty much my favourite princess. So I bought this set which was $18.99 and obviously as you can see I've got a Mickey Mouse here. Um, so this set originally did have a Lumiere in it and I traded him up um, for Mickey. And then I got my favourite Mr Cogsworth. I absolutely adore Cogsworth so I got a little Cogsworth pin. And then another green pin is this one of Belle and the Beast together because obviously in this set I have them both individually but I thought it would be nice to get one together. I'm kind of thinking like I'd quite like to get a lanyard that's sort of, this sounds really sad but like for each outfit that I wear when I'm away. Um, you know that kind of matches the colour so if I've got a yellow outfit on I could wear like my Beauty and the Beast lanyard and if I'm wearing blue I could wear like my Stitch lanyard and I know that was really sad but that is that is what my thought process is because I definitely I love my pins and I buy so many of them um, but I just kind of look at them so I thought it would be nice to like actually maybe like make a sort of make them part of my outfit. Sorry if things have moved again I finished filming and the whole last bit of the video was completely out of focus because I am blind as a bat so I can't see if I'm in focus or not so yeah really inconvenient but the last round of pins I'll quickly show you these four pins which you won't be able to get anymore um, so the first one is my Mickey 25th anniversary pin which is blue whatever blue is price wise then another two blue ones are my 2018 pins so I got one that has Stitch on it and one that has Donald on it obviously I couldn't pick between them, it's Stitch and Donald, like they're two of my favourite characters so yeah I had to have both of them. And then after I got them um, I actually saw this one which I really liked and just couldn't resist getting. This was a green one um, and again it's 2018 Disneyland Paris and it's got Soster Mickey on it and I really really like Soster Mickey. And then the last ones are all characters that you should still be able to get. Speaking of Soster Mickey, I got a Soster Mickey pin. He was green and I just think he is super super cute. I really really love the Soster Mickey design. Like I used to love Fantasia when I was little so yeah it's just like pure nostalgic growing up Disney for me and then another like nostalgic one is Uncle Scrooge I always always loved Mickey's Christmas Carol and yeah I was a big Uncle Scrooge fan from a very very young age two like nostalgic ones and Uncle Scrooge was $6.99 I got two Alice in Wonderland pins the first one is Alice with Dinah obviously I have a ginger cat and she was very very nearly called Dinah we ended up we called her Sansa after Sansa start from Game of Thrones just because she had a bit of a tragic backstory so um, that seemed more fitting but she was very very nearly Dinah after Dinah from Alice in Wonderland and then the other Alice in Wonderland pin that I got was this one which is the White Rabbit and they were both green. This was a yellow pin and it's a Star Wars one obviously I can't do a trip without getting something Star Warsy. so this has got Rey on it who obviously Rey's my number one and then it's got older Luke Skywalker on it as well. I just I love Rey I think she's an amazing character just so obsessed love Daisy Ridley just 
yeah love Rainy so much so I had to get that one then another character that I love that I actually don't see a lot of merchandise for is Archimedes from Sword in the Stone so when I saw this little pin I had to have him he was a little green one as well and then my last two character pins I got a little Marie pin I just thought she was super cute she's pulling such a cute little facial expression um, and again this was a green pin and then the last one kind of finishing off how we started is Lady from Lady and the Tramp and again a little green pin and she's just super cute I love Lady so yeah had to have her but that is everything that I bought in Disneyland Paris last year so thank you so much for watching and um, I hope it's been helpful and giving you an idea of like merchandise if you're going soon and um, just have the best time if you are going soon I am so jealous and please like tag but don't tag me in your Instagrams but like tell me your Instagrams and things down below if you're going to be going to the parks and sharing images because I just love seeing them but it's totally my happy place so yeah I go to Walt Disney World super soon so do stay tuned um, if you are new to my channel because I will be vlogging the trip I fell totally out of love with vlogging last year but I got really back into it I'm really excited to vlog this trip um, and then I will have a haul video and I also will film my Walt Disney World pin haul from uh, my trip the year before last that I've still not filmed that is so bad uh, yeah that's that's terrifying actually when I think about it and um, but I will film that pinhole before I go this time so that when I'm coming back it will be all fresh and new content and I'll be totally caught up so do stay tuned for that content coming your way I hope you've enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video bye <laughs>